Hello everybody, uh, welcome to another video. Um, MDD's back on, on the channel. Um, yeah, this is the same weekend now I'm recording this as um, the part two of the FF Class Q went up and I just had a free day and I felt like having a bit of a power PC geek out. So basically, what I'm going to be doing, alright, first before I, before I get into what I'm doing, this is obviously the 867 megahertz um, MDD that Chris donated to me um, way, way, way back now. It was like about a year and a half ago, I think. If you go back to Power Mac G4 MDD unboxing, that that's that's this Mac. Um, then in part one of the FF class Power Mac G4, um, I got myself from it. If you remember, a 1.2, uh, 1.42 gigahertz MDD, which had a dead power supply. So I swapped the power supply from this, put it in the 1.42. The 1.42 died and that's why the the series was cancelled and um, I'm pretty sure I've, I've gone over why that that series was cancelled um, but this guy he's just been sort of sitting around chilling out not doing anything without well with a dead power supply this power supply is just sat in him so basically everybody knows about the um, the whole uh, MDD 24 pin ATX thing you could you can mod an ATX power supply to sit in an MDD for it to work fine. Minus ADC power. So basically, this that's what I'm doing. I've got this cheap um, 500 watt ATX power supply. It's so light. It's, it's terrible, but it's pretty much brand new. I don't think it's ever been used. And um, well, if it makes a thing work, then it's better than nothing. This is the 400 watt Samsung power supply. I'm not sure you can see there. Um, dead, dead as a doornail. Um, just wouldn't do anything. So. Yeah, basically what I'm doing, I've got my pliers here and a needle. This is my method. You know you can get like um you can get like pin removers and stuff. You can pay upwards of twenty quid for a, a good set. This is all I need really. This work is working fine. I've got pliers. Clamp it in tight. Now um hang on if I if I put you down somewhere two seconds guys. Okay then so um yeah basically I um basically just clamp the needle. Um you probably work with a pin. If I've got one around here, it, anything sharp basically. Um, and basically, these these um, pins here, they have like th three flat sides and then like a, they curve around at the top side. All you have to do is stick the needle into the two horizontal sides. And of course, it, it works perfectly off camera and then doesn't work on camera. Lock it in so it's nice and tight. Push down a little bit of force. And then do the same on the other horizontal side. So there we go, push it in. And now, with a bit of force, pull it out. There we go. And now with a bit of luck, it should pop out. There we go. Isn't that fucking awesome? That is absolutely awesome. It's so easy. Um, completely eliminates the need for all of those like massively expensive tools. It doesn't break or damage the the butterfly wings in any way so it's that is you could use it if you wanted to again and um yeah that's pretty much what i'm doing today okay then so um this is looking pretty good now um we've got all of our cables out of the atx power supply i've got them all nicely wrapped so i can't uh, forget which ones belong to which um uh, basically wait, 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 wait. there that is what we're going to be focusing on here um, the only real difference is, in order for the ATX power supply to work, we need to use that POK pin, which is pin 8 on the ATX. I, it's got something to do with 3.3 volts, I'm not 100% sure, but basically we're going to have to stick it there where pin 18 is. Pretty simple, um, and that just that just makes it everything work, basically. So um, the MDD power supply doesn't have that for whatever reason. Um, so, yeah, all I have to do now, really is match all of them up with that and then I should be pretty much uh, good to go so yeah I'm gonna get on with that now um, it's, it's such an easy process actually um, just sort of cross fingers that it works now here we go then as you can see there um, all of the pins are in match up with the ones on the uh, on the website by the way guys I'm gonna leave all the, all the links and stuff um, in the description uh, for all of like the resources that I used. Um, it's really not a difficult job, um, but yeah, 
We're just gonna do a little bit of moment truth here. Um, if this works, then fucking a, I'm gonna be over the moon because I've got it working MDD again. So here we go. Press power button. One, two, three. Get in there. Not sure if you can hear that, but the fans go in. I don't think any of the, uh, any of the other fans are plugged in, so I'm gonna have to turn this off before the processor cooks. But awesome! That is absolutely awesome. I've got to work in MDD again, guys. Um, yeah, that was really a very very simple process, actually. Um, it took a fair amount of time because it's quite an intricate little job to do, but it's not difficult at all. And these these cheap ass power supplies can be taken for free. People give them away. So yeah, that's that's awesome. Um, I'm gonna sort of get everything sort of set up again in here. And um, yeah, but yeah, for that video, guys, um, I think this is pretty much it. Um, yeah, that's really really cool. So um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this one, guys, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.